Ladies and gents, welcome to the smallest migration ever. Migration, a really fun map where the players start on a tiny little island and then usually transport to the very big mainland where there's access to other resources. Well, because this map is the smallest map possible in the game, the mainland or the main island is also quite tiny. But everything's tiny, everything's compact. Let's get to it. This is actually the second game that these two players have played for this. Hippo on a bus was able to win the first one on Amazon Tunnel, which was uploaded recently. You can check it out. Um, Hippo on a bus, great name. Fun Civ here, playing as the Lithuanians. I can already see what Hippo on a bus was thinking. This is really funny to me. So Hippo on a bus is thinking, Lithuanians start with extra food. I will then chop wood earlier than most civs can, because I don't need as much on food. This is a build that people do in order to fish. There's not a lot of fish. <laughs> There's no room for fish. There's one area of deep fish on the entire map. So that's pretty comical to me. It's actually good thinking, right? It's good strategy from Hippo on a bus. But maybe not with how small the map is. Hippo on a bus aware of migration. Maybe not so aware of just how ridiculously small this is. Um, Yeah, Lithuanians for Hippo on a bus. Snippy then is here playing as the Koreans. A Civ that's got some really fun bonuses. We've seen towers be quite strong in this game mode. So I could see Snippy considering uh, towers with the Koreans. They have very strong towers. Also, the turtle ship could be great. And <laughs> Red says, world's easiest scouting. Very true. They've fully scouted their map at this point. Um, Snippy, though, interesting style. Starts off with the early dock, so not even going for a lumber camp. And just figures, oh, God, Snippy, you need a house here. But yeah, anyways, uh, Snippy's thought process was probably... Why make a lumber camp when the wood is so close by? Unfortunately for Snippy, though, did and unfortunately not have the house up in time. So a little bit pop lock there. But we'll have the fishing ship out early. So down in villagers, ahead with the fishing ship. It might end up canceling out. Um, gold and stone could be really problematic for them if the opponent goes navy. I feel like while towers could be strong, like maybe transporting here and dropping towers, especially like right here. Woo wee That'd be a great location to, to block off, but um, I feel like just ships, right? Like, just Navy could be good. Like, we've seen some really entertaining games in this, but we have also seen some massive duds because the map's so small that the second players get control of a certain area, the other player's just kind of stuck. I feel like as far as the map gen's concerned, the hippo will struggle a bit more with the berries and the, and the um, gold being here. This is going to be fun. Let's see where this deer goes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very cooperative deer. I was going to say, it, sometimes getting that deer to path the other directions could be really complicated. Nice! Oh, my God. You shot it? Didn't run the other way? Wow. That deer wanted you to eat it underneath the TC. Very thoughtful deer. All right. So, you know, you got all this wood now to make fishing ships. <laughs> Look where red is docked. <laughs> Hard for me to be overly critical of it because the map's so small, but I feel like a dock here would have made more sense because there's more water. Oh, the fishing ship. Oh, wow. I didn't see the deep fish were over here. All right. Ooh. That is a... Oh, my... God. Whoa, I'm so blind. I mean, red is just scouting at this point, but that is really nice find. Now, obviously, the fishing ships are going to sail quite a bit to get there, but the deep fish... Fishing ships bring in deep fish faster than they do on the shore fish. Ooh, you can sail in there. Okay, so that is something that could be rough for Snippy now. I think Snippy might even see that fishing ship. It feels like a race to feudal age is on the cards here, though. Guys, how much do you want to bet Snippy's going to forget that he needs his second Dark Age building to click feudal? I will bet $1.17 against one of you, not... 20,000 of you, because that would be really bad for me, all right? Unless you're all going to be in on it, then maybe I would, maybe we would go in on the bet. Let's just, let's just not actually bet. Okay, let's pretend to bet. And yeah, Snippy's not going to remember. So, because here's the deal, like, you normally make a dock after a lumber camp. So he's like, oh, 500 food, I'm such a god, woo! Gets real excited. And now needs to spend 100 wood on a mining camp or a lumber camp. And I guess, like, what do you even choose? Well, something is better than nothing here. I think Snippy... Yeah, he's like, what? 
I love how Snippy's been part of this community for eight years. And he forgot that right there. That makes me so happy. It's, you know, easy to forget those types of things. And it's it's one of those moments where a player's creativity has actually hurt them. <laughs> As Snippy's going to click up to Feudal now. There we go. On the way up. Now, the meta on migration is usually fast castle fire ships. But I feel like fast castling when you're surrounded by so much water would not be too wise. Red, of course, has the lumber camp and also has the dock. So Red is up. Res collected should be much better for Hippo on a bus. A lot more of an efficient eco here. Hasn't collected as much food, but has collected a lot more wood. I think that will go a long way here. All right, and, and this answers the question I had is, will we see a transport ship? <laughs> I love how it's like, it's so different than normal migration. Typically, you get here and you're like, let's encounter the new world, and you have to pay so much attention to your scouting. It's going to take Hippo on a bus 10 seconds to scout the entire new world. Good luck getting through here. This dock might actually block this. The Hippo may be a little perturbed by the fact that Snippy is taking the fish here. Snippy very focused, not chatting much. This is something that's consistent with Snippy, even in those diplomacy games. And Snippy sees the scouts there, sees the gold. And I think Snippy's thinking, I want to deny that gold. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Pretty smart thinking, actually. That is a tower on the starting island for Hippo. So now what does Hippo do? Also, is the scout blocked there? I feel like the scout could maybe go this way. Hippo is going to make a counter tower. Now... Uh, I had someone suggest maybe we do this without towers in the future. And I thought a bit about it, guys. I feel like if you remove towers, though, it's just replaced by some type of equivalent. Like, a, then it's just straight galleys for both. I think towers are actually really important to keep in this. But eventually, if you guys have ideas, maybe we could create new rules, right? So it's like, um, even just setting a timer, like you can't make towers for a certain point of the game. I kind of like it all to be possible. To see what players will do. And here's Snippy. Now, Korean villagers have more vision. That is one of the rare times we're actually going to see this bonus utilized. Extra vision, baby. Can see the opponent. Here comes the starting scout from Snippy. Bill fight begins. Scout joins in. This is rough for Hippo right now. Because Hippo could also lose the tower war. Hippo has rang the town bell by, I assume, by mistake. Never before has someone on another island heard that bell. Because usually the player, the, the villagers are too far away. Snippy, though, has actually brought a... Oh, boy. Okay, actually, Snippy kills the fire, but Snippy's villagers here need to repair and hop back inside. So, this is just the classic, right? A nightmare for these two to play. I appreciate them doing it. Very fun for us to watch. These people are sacrificing their stress levels for us. And it's not going to get any prettier. Wait, Snippy actually needs the 50 wood to drop a tower here, desperately. That's what Snippy wants to drop. I wonder if Hippo will be tempted to tower this. See, I don't think Hippo sees it, actually. Okay, Hippo, Hippo sees it. I'm wrong. And now there's the tower. But it is kind of the same problem as before, where Snippy just kind of beat Hippo to the punch. Now, Hippo will have more villagers here. Snippy also has the fire galleys, though, and there's no navy anymore for Hippo. Now, the tower for Hippo will prioritize units. Like the Navy or the transport ship or the fishing ship. That does then mean, though, that Snippy is going to kill villagers with this tower for a whole lot longer. Transport ship goes down. That's a big deal right now. That is a big, big deal. I Like, Snippy would have preferred to lose the fishing ship or anything, really. House. Oh, created from Snippy. But Snippy, now your tower's not shooting this. Mm. Oh, the villagers are attacking, though. Hmm. Okay. All right. Hippo on a bus. Still still holding very impressively here. The Snippy who chose this opponent. I reached out to Snippy said, hey, give me who do you think's best out there? The Snippy's like, well, actually, Hippo on a bus and I played some games. We've been pretty close. Game one was really close, so I like the choice. But here, Hippo's tower is close to going down. Still being repaired. Snippy's tower is going to go down, though. Timpy doesn't have more bills here. The lack of a transport's a problem. 
is a big, big problem. But the lack of navy for red is a problem. So what? what's better here? What? I'm not sure I know. Mm, Snippy's tower still firing here. Snippy decides maybe I just give up on this and repair this again. And you see the fire galley is getting quite a few kills. Burning these villagers to a crisp. Oh man, so many of them are weak. Snippy is making a new transport ship. Um, problem here for Hippo is that Hippo was chopping wood here and ran out of trees and now would need to go here. Feels like if Snippy could win this repair war again, and you have to pay attention to it. Because if you don't, Snippy, you lose all these villagers. You'll lose every one. You don't have a transport here. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. This is wild. This is what I mean. The towers are so nice, right? New transport is on the way. They've been told, just stay alive. We will save you. I don't think these villas are going to survive. Snippy's behind. But Red hasn't been taking wood. Mm, towers still both here. Like, Red is conflicted on if this should ever be engaged upon. I think Snippy will, will obviously fully focus on this now. And still waiting to see what happens. That villager's weak, but survives. Snippy loses the tower. Uh-oh. Do we just see another tower, or do we see the villas just run in? Uh-oh. Big big move here. This villager's got some guts. Low HP and a dream. Let's go. It's a lot of villas. Villas do bonus damage against towers. It goes down pretty fast in Feudal Age. As Snippy had the transport. Snippy brought more villas. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Snippy could drop another tower, maybe? Is that what's happening? I can't even see. Yup, that's what's happening. Um, I'm trying to hold on to what's left of the middle island. Also still had fishing ships working, which is not bad. That food eco is going to be helpful. I like the stone walls here to block the choke points as well. But some weak villagers here from before, and Red's in big trouble. Snippy's going to have the middle. This game could go on forever. There's so such a weak spot right now. I can't wait to check resources collected here in a moment. Eco KDs? Better for Snippy? Oh, transport got sniped. The Snippy even trying to wall up the golds there. Snippy's working economy is five on stone that don't have a mining camp. Sorry, make that seven on stone. Two on food, then one isn't even collecting anything. And that's it. <laughs> uh, maybe, sorry, let's not forget about this guy of berries here. Red's working economy is, is superior. But red now doesn't have the middle, and I feel like red could also lose full control of the map. I just thought, like, normally making a market with imbalanced economies is really nice, but markets are huge. <laughs> markets are massive. Markets are going to be awkward here. I mean, Snippy's in the, as the space advantage here. But even still, red's little walls here have maybe given him... We're giving him a chance here. Mm. Fishing ship's still working. Snippy doesn't really see that. But the fires are looping around. Obviously, the fires will find that. Yeah, I think the worry for red is this. You don't even have a tower to protect your starting TC area. You have to think of extremes to get back into this. I think Castle Age would be it. So these two villagers need to be on a mission... Oh my goodness, of course they're weak. Look at them. How do they even have the strength to hammer like that? Um, these two villagers have to be on a market mission. To somehow fit a market somewhere. I'm not sure Red will recognize that. Snippy. Will build a tower here and be pretty happy with things, I think. Keyword, I think. Red's collected so far in this game. Way higher for Hippo. But Hippo doesn't have the space. Hear me out. Could you delete your TC, build a market, buy the food? Because you're not going to get the food naturally. Neither of them are. You buy, uh, I don't know, buy as much food as you can afford with that much gold. And then rebuild the TC after deleting the market. And then just hope to go castleage. I guess the question then is, what does Castle Age bring you? God, this mini-map looks so funny. Capture Age was not meant for this. 
People were not meant for this. Humans were not meant for this. Hippos were not meant for this. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, I think Red wants a market right now. It'd be so funny if Red pops in here, drops the market real quick, right underneath the towers. Oh boy, here comes Snippy. Here comes... Oh. <laughs> Snippy's house walls! Where are we going, Red? We just gotta fight down the towers. Okay, well that's that's risky because um, there's two towers here. This is no, no, no. That this ain't it. This ain't it. Nope. This is this is rough. This is just sacrificing villagers. Snippy's gonna love this. Picked up the Koreans for good reason here, right? Started right up with the towers. Stone mining bonus, vil, vil vision bonus, and towers. Now no real tower bonus is utilized here. The tower bonus is coming in castle. But still, like, mining stone and having fills with more vision is super nice. I think Hippo on a bus has run out of ideas and figures, I can't do anything. I have to try and take out the towers. And Snippy is loving this. The first game was very close. This game also very close, but looking pretty rough right now for Red. So I think just felt very unnatural to delete the CC. I think that would be your only play. I don't know. Okay, villagers can't swim, people. Villagers cannot swim. They did not take any swimming tests growing up, and Hippo on a bus loses four villagers. They have now drowned. And Hippo says, GG, unless you're below three pop. And, well, Snippy's a little bit above that, and Snippy wins this game on the smallest migration ever. These guys are a very fun level for this. What a fun one. Yeah, honestly, I felt like both players had really nice strategies. I felt like Red did a really nice job to defend from the tower here. Snippy just had a little bit of momentum and got the edge in some of the tower wars. Um, in the end, I also think Snippy having Navy was super nice here. The fire ships and the galleys were helpful against the villagers when Snippy was having a rough time in the middle. Snippy just took better engagements, and I mean, the towers just did work here. These two towers had 18 kills, so that's pretty ridiculous and one of them was on a ship as well if i recall it's funny though because res collected is not good for snippy <laughs> this is so rare right like opponent collects more of every resource and you win the game but what do you do with resources right you spend them on things you spend them on villagers you spend them on units and if the kd looks like this then it would make sense that you know with the army killed and the value killed that snippy would come out on top a good game. And uh, hey, listen, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little small map, bite-sized Age of Empires cast. I'm going to have a few more coming up over the next week or two. But did want to mention again, for those that have either watched my streams in the past or wish to watch my streams in the future, that um, as of this moment, I'm no longer a Facebook streamer and uh, currently having some convos, figuring out some stuff. But listen, I can tell you, streams are going to be awesome. And i um, kind of looking forward to the next chapter where people can hopefully connect with me a little bit more. It was a little tough on Facebook for people to interact for various reasons. And I'm not going to be on Facebook any longer. So keep an eye out. Uh, I will also make it super easy for you if you just watch my videos and don't want to use like Twitter or Instagram or, or Facebook or whatever. Um, I'm just going to make sure that that's mentioned at the end of videos. But I'm not going to just like cram it down your throat because that could be annoying. You guys are advertised to all the time all right so just keep an ear out uh you know watch the videos over the next week and you'll hear what that next chapter is going to be and whether you're part of that or not obviously the youtube videos will continue to come what i will cram into your face is non-stop though is content video wise regardless so you can't avoid that and i'm not going to apologize for it because there's more small maps to be made there's more experiences to be had scores one one here guys we've got to play all five this looks super even. I'm putting my money on Hippo on a bus right now because of the eco side of things, but Snippy's aggression's pretty insane. So we'll see what happens in the next few with these two.